Welcome back. We're continuing to talk about the trial um, in Marietta, Georgia, about Justin Ross Harris, the man accused of killing his 22-month-old son by leaving him in a hot car. Let's go out to CNN correspondent uh, Nick Valencia, who's outside that courtroom, along with Phil Holloway, CNN legal analyst. Nick, I'll start with you. What's happening in court today, Nick? Yasmin, we anticipated this to be a day of revelations on the stand. So far, we've heard from some key witnesses. The day started with the defense withdrawing their motion to suppress a private conversation between Justin Ross Harris and his wife while he was in police custody. That conversation, allegedly Justin Ross Harris saying, I dreaded what he would look like. The inference there from the prosecution saying uh, that he knew exactly what he was doing when he left his 22-month-old son in the car. Also in that conversation, Leanna Harris alleged to have said, did you say too much? Let's bring in CNN legal analyst Philip Holloway. Why would the defense introduce this motion only to withdraw it? Well, the very first thing that it does, Nick, is it keeps it out of the media. It keeps us from hearing it until it's played at trial. And they didn't, they were withdrawing it, but you can surmise that perhaps they think there's something in that conversation that helps their case. We would call that exculpatory evidence. That might be something that they want the jury to hear. They don't think it's as incriminating or something That's like that. That's correct. That would be the argument, I believe, from the defense side. And then, uh, Yasmin, we moved on to some pretty uh, key testimony from the first responder, uh, a detective, now detector, as well, Stoddard. Uh, they talked a lot about what they characterize as odd behavior or unusual behavior. Uh, from Justin Ross Harris in the moments police arrived there at the scene of where his 22-month-old son uh, was eventually pronounced dead. What did you take away from this conversation, the, the testimony on the stand from uh, Stoddard and from uh, Piper? Well, what this all boils down to in a nutshell is what statements, Nick, are admissible, not going to be admissible. Uh, the defense is claiming that he was in custody at the time because he was in, in, in handcuffs, he was mm -hmm. in the back of a police car, and therefore any statements that he made in response to police questioning should not be admissible. Because he he hadn't had his rights read to him because yet. he had not right had his there? rights read that is the point the defense is making the state is making the argument that he really was not in custody this is a brief investigatory detention that's the issue for the judge to decide the other thing is there's part of this conversation at the police station where he did say i want a lawyer and i want to invoke my rights and that was done after he was formally charged and let's talk about that conversation at the jail because it was something that detective stoddard said uh, that justin ross harris after he was announced or advised of his charges something unusual that he was said uh, according to the detective uh, but there was no malicious intent something uh, that struck you as, as somewhat odd as well Yes, that did get the detective's attention. When he said there was no malicious intent, malice is a legal term. It's something that lawyers talk about. It's not something that people who are placed under arrest who are not lawyers typically talk about. So that definitely got their attention. It caused them to think about this a little bit more. They brought back a camera and they began recording him. And the, the state is going to argue he made some statements that incriminated himself that were not in response to police questioning. And we got a chance to see some of that interrogation video today. This is still going on in the courtroom right behind us. Several more hours left in the day today. Several more motions left on the docket for the defense. As far as the demeanor for Justin Ross Harris, Yasmin, he's visibly more engaged, taking notes, really paying attention a lot to what is being said about him on the stand. Again, uh, this is just about halfway through today. Several more days of this could uh, be on the table in this week ahead. Yasmin? And, and Nick, still no sign of Leanna Harris, his wife? Still no sign of Leanna Harris in the courtroom for the majority of what we can see. And what you can tell, Phil, is mostly reporters and other uh, members of the local community that are interested That's in That's correct. This. Her lawyer was present briefly yesterday, yesterday, but not for the entire day. That's right. So no sign of Leanna Harris so far. And Justin Ross Harris in a new prison jumpsuit today wearing red today, uh, shorter haircut, uh, and a little bit more, as I said, visibly engaged in today's testimony. Yasmin? Nick, Philip, thanks a lot for joining us. We appreciate it.